other room. I'll have to bring some light with me, and I don't have any right now. Maybe we'll get a flashlight or a headlamp or something. So we'll do these first and run everything back. I'll come back and just deconstruct. Butcher! Final operator, dissect corpse. Power storage and broken. Cloaking system and broken. Well, that's unfortunate. I'll never use the cloaking system. It takes up too much, too much power. I'll never have enough power stored to be able to make effective use of that. And I've already got three or four of these I'm not using because, again, I don't want to have a bunch of power storage because it lowers my mana. So, yeah. Basically, I fired off a whole lot of uh, my precious 8x40 for almost no gain. Plutonium, which I'm not sure I have any use for. Nothing else interesting laying out on the ground, unfortunately. Oh well. Well, there you go. That's uh, that's raiding a military outpost with the new stuff. And like I said, I honestly don't see any effective tactical difference in the turret changes that have been made. Except that I think they're easier than they were in the past. From everything I've read, it was supposed to make turrets harder to deal with or make the environments more difficult, but... For anybody that knows the game and knows how these turrets work, I don't see it. I just don't see it. Now, in addition to them being easy to kill, now we get 1,600 rounds of this ammo, which I don't care about. But, I mean, other people that like to drive around with 16 turrets hanging off their vehicle, spraying bullet death <laughs> in every direction, are going to get all sorts of excited because now they can, uh, they can do that a whole bunch of that. But, um... I I just don't see that it's in, it's changed the tactical situation on how to deal with them in a direction that's harder for the players. The only thing that's harder is the change in the night vision range. I'm not generating light. I'm still disagree, disagreeing on that thing. I think they should either be one less or the players should get back the one point of night vision that we got taken from us um, with the lighting calculation changes. But... Um, yeah, I, I I just don't see it. I think turrets should have, and p facilities like this especially, I think turrets should have night vision out to their full shoot range. And even with that, it still wouldn't have made a difference in this engagement, as long as you've got a long rifle. So, as soon as you get hold of any long rifle with any kind of an ammo supply, it's all irrelevant anyway. Um, yeah, so, <laughs> there you go. I don't have a flashlight... Oh, uh, everything. Flashlight? No. Headlamp? No. Man, I found that, uh, found that low light goggles early. <laughs> I haven't used anything else in forever. I don't even have a flashlight or a way of making a light. Hmm. Well, <laughs> maybe I won't take about the plutonium generator. Um, I don't think I picked up anything. I don't have a lantern. Guess I could make a fire in there real quick. It's kind of funny. I really don't have a single tool that's going to generate light. I don't have a spell that'll do it. This is the brazier. Take the brazier. 
Or a... I don't even think I picked up a cell phone. Razor it is. What did we get? Two whole plutonium fuel cells. <laughs> Two! Uh, yeah. All right. Wasn't even really worth the whole conversation or the search to get my brazier. Yeah, I, they gave me a flashlight. I forgot about that too. My bad. What was in the locker room? Ah, uh, which locker room? This locker room had a flashlight. This locker room had pretty much nothing. Yeah, this had nothing. These were all empty, if I remember right, except for that one SIG. There was nothing in this room either. Yeah, it's one of the worst outposts I've actually seen. Terrible. Oh, that's right. I got one more bio-operator. One more chance. One more chance. Forgot this guy. Bio-operator. Come on. Give me something useful. Thermal dissipation. <laughs> faulty, faulty. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Thanks, Cataclysm. <laughs> All right. I see how you're going to be. Uh, it's done to the laptop now, too. Alright, I'm down to five of the standard 8x40. How many more do I have laying around? 60 more, huh? Uh, 107 of the FM dates. Um, yeah, let's just stick with the standard. All right, so rifles fully reloaded, but we got we got very little out of that that was of any use. But like I said, there's a demonstration of how to uh, approach a military outpost. What to be what to be cautious of. The only thing we didn't have to deal with was the grenade chucking robots, which pretty similar process to uh, how I deal with them in labs. Control your light, you go in and close the door behind you if you've got a light advantage. I had the light amp goggles. Um, use the the light to your advantage. Really, I mean they can't see and hit you for more than a couple spaces away. So as soon as you've got more vision than they do, they're pretty easy to take care of. So now we have to decide where we're going to go. Um, that's where we started the evening, up at the, uh, the steel plant, steel mill. So we have this big city area up there we haven't finished looking at. I was going to roll, I think I was going to roll around this way and then kind of work my way back up, see what we find. That's what we're going to do. I got tons of batteries. So we, we had ways to work around it. It's just a matter of time and convenience and me remembering <laughs> what I had and didn't have. I thought I had a mining helmet somewhere, but I must be thinking about the previous run. 
We got pretty lucky with the light amp goggles real quick into the run on this one, which made things tons, tons easier. I think it was in like the first barracks that I went into. All right, we've been here. Don't care about any of this. Nice uh, radio tower with a map. That would be great right about now. I saw the Hulk up there. Another just bad event. Incandescent. Oh, now we're talking. We got incandescent husks. We got brutes. We got hulks. Oh, yeah. Look at all these fun ones. We got lots of thorny shamblers. We've got a necromancer hanging in the background. Gonna raise all the dead ones. Multiple acid zombies. Wrestlers. <laughs> oh, man. Predators. Yeah, that's 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 a death-dealing crowd right there. Necromancer that hangs back in the backfield and just resurrects everything that you kill <laughs> with a hulk, a predator, multiple thorny shamblers that shoot those darts that uh, slow you down, wrestlers and grapplers to uh, wrap you up and hold you in place, acid and spitter zombies. Yeah, that, that's a death group right there. You'd have to be pretty cautious about how you take care of that. Not even counting the husk. Husks are fun, though. If I can get the husk in relation in the group there, the husk will kill all those for me. That's always fun, playing a high-movement character and using a husk to kill a big group of zombies. Hmm. Well, the problem I have, Squiggy, is the AOE doesn't work most of the time. I don't know why. Borg hasn't been able to figure out why either. But, um, I mean, on camera... Half a dozen, dozen times so far, I've tried casting Fireball and other AoE spells, and it hits like three targets out of 20. The, the template covers them all, but only a couple of them actually end up taking any damage, and we have not been able to figure out why it happened. Last I heard, nothing has changed, but um, I got that Vegetative Grasp I want to give a try. We'll see how many it affects. So I'm not seeing anything interesting here so far. Nothing worth my stopping. So we're gonna go around all whoa yeah let's let's not get stopped right here this would be a bad place to have the vehicle cock out on me really bad more husks yeah I think evolution is well and truly arrived oh wait is that a radio tower or a radio oh it is a tower oh that's perfect perfect place for a tower ooh got a recycling center too Hmm, I'm a little more interested. Recycling center, well, what would I get there now? Probably books is the only place I would look in the recycling center. Can't think of any other items I need. I got the control laptop done, so item loot wise, other than the really scary rare stuff that doesn't show up in the general locations, I can't think of anything else I need material wise. But we're definitely going to try to get to that tower quietly if we can. Get to the top of that, and that'll map in this entire screen, plus a little more. And it might have a, uh, a map. It could also be very helpful. So, let's just focus further. Skell jugs. <clears throat> more predators and hunters. Uh, I need to lose what's pursuing me and then work my way back south as carefully as I can. Or just go from here. Yeah, I think I'm just going to go from here. Alright, slow down. Point north. Alright, tough zombie. Um... It's just fighting knife you. Ah, can I get to that tower and get to the top without attracting too much attention?
That was way too many swings to kill one of these low-level guys. Oof, so far it's too easy. What's going to wait, be waiting for me when I get back to the bottom? <laughs> Those of you haven't seen these new radio towers, make sure you pay attention to them. Six levels up. Ah, oh, we didn't get any of the stuff. So this upper floor, there's four or five variations of what might be up here. This one, we just got the uh, the chair and the uh, makeshift bed. But one of them's got a survivor telescope and a map. One of them's got a sniper position for a zombie soldier with some gear, things like that. So I'm mostly up here for this, though. You can see the range that it just filled in with my vision bonuses. So now we can see all sorts of stuff. Ooh, we got a mansion nearby. Mansion right there. Let's see. Down this way we saw... Portions of this. No, we did not, because we came in from this direction. Hey, yeah, we did. I remember that section. All right. All right, so... Nothing too exciting over here. I don't care about a homeless camp. Dojo might have another uh, martial arts style we probably won't learn. Library and bookstore. Library, bookstore, and school. Hmm. Um... I'm not finding any magic shops. Hmm. That's disappointing for what we just uncovered there. Military bunker. Uh-oh, another Grey F. Another Demon Spider Queen. Hanging out in Killingworth. Football stadium buried in the middle of the forest and nothing else over here in Killingworth I care about. Except for the recycling center again. And we didn't learn much more about anything up that direction. There is an apartment tower right there that I might be able to get into fairly easily. That would uh, give me enough height to see pretty much all of this whole area. So that's one possible target. Military bunker is another one. And then, I don't know, keep moving northwest just to keep trying to push into new, new overmap sections and hope the uh, farm spam settles down. <laughs> Probably a futile hope. How would I get to it, though? Ooh, how would I get to that? I may not be able to get through there. That is an ugly road trip. I'd have to go... Yeah, how would I get over there? Hmm. Short of chopping my way through a section of forest, <laughs> dropping trees enough that I can get my vehicle through, I I got nothing but ugly options on trying to get over to that military bunker. Unless I hoof it. I guess I could drive up to here and then run my way up to the military bunker. That wouldn't get my vehicle over there. Um, I don't know. It, it varies, like most things. Depends on your city size settings. Or uh, how many magic shops. Occasionally I'll find two or three in a single... Single city of this size, for example. Other times I go whole overworld map sections without seeing one. So it's pretty sporadic. 
Wouldn't mind as much if used bookstores weren't so broken with those Nothics. My places to find the magic books without the used bookstores as an option is getting pretty slim. Mansion library here has got a chance. The uh, magic basements have a chance, but those are on the rare list for uh, the basement types. Um, laboratory ba or laboratory libraries have them, and you can occasionally get them in a few other really really random spots. But um, yeah, it's just kind of rough. All right, so from where I'm at, I I don't see much. worth going into here for. I'm not diving into the middle of cities for regular bookstores. No, I haven't seen a single mine. We've traveled and traveled and traveled and traveled and traveled and we haven't seen even a single mine of any kind. That's why I'm kind of kind of thinking I'm going to end up having to uh, just call the, the challenge to a close. Find some way of uh, getting myself killed in a hopefully interesting place at the end of this evening. I don't want to continue this challenge past this evening. <laughs> apartment towers? No thanks. I got apartment towers on a do not go to other than going to the roof. Um, it's it, it just it makes it too easy for me. I've never found a spell book in an apartment tower, in the the ones that I had looked at, but it's been a little while because I've had them on my. Not allowed to go to list for a while now. I um, think I'm going to roll north up this road. We'll head up this way. We'll see if I can get to the roof of that apartment tower and or the school to map in the rest of this East Greenwich area. I want to know two things. Are there any magic shops up here? And then also is... Is there an open area that I can travel north of there to kind of wrap around to the northwest? Or is it all just solid forest all the way around this thing? First, see if we can get back down and get to our vehicle safely again. Got a lot of stuff coming at me from the south. Another SWAT truck. Either SWAT truck. So many of you guys all of a sudden. <laughs> the one space I happen to look at is perfect condition. That's funny. Flavoring biters, zombie hollows, spitters. Alright, nothing I can't get away from pretty easily. You good crowd. <laughs> As I fail to climb the fence over and over again. Skeletal Juggernaut. Yeah, stupid twist. Alright, so um, kind of tempted to roll north and then hoof it up to that bunker. Downside is if it's the newer bunker and it's got the auto dock, I'd have to hoof it back. Grab thy stuff and go back up again unless I took it with me, which I guess I could do. Hmm. Yeah, we got a pretty good ammo supply last time. Let's let's do that. Let's um I'd be a little sad to be away from my vehicle, make me a little nervous, but also a small possibility we can find a Wow, there's some pretty nasty stuff out here. Slavering biters. And of course there's a body site. <coughs> Excuse me. Anything fun? We got an RM42 fighting knife off one of these drug sites earlier. Nothing fun. Alright, so uh, what are the chances I can dig a hole for my vehicle through here? <laughs> sure would simplify my life. Not at the most narrow point. But also, this is pretty crowded over here. I think that spot is actually probably the best spot. Uh, 
which is over here. Got an ID card to get in the front. After that, all I only need is pickaxe. Alright, got the pickaxe. Gonna need, uh, in case, anesthesia kit. And. Dielectric capacitance. That's the only new one I've gotten that I care about, right? Don't care. Yeah, that's the only one I care about. Alright, so I got, oh, uh, that's right, I don't need to be carrying around that. So I got my weapons, I got my ammo reloads. Actually, I need to check my auto. Uh, Ooh, really? I got HPP in the auto mag? Oh, crap. I didn't want to use those. <laughs> that was a bad choice. Alright, don't don't squander those again, Vorm. That was silly. Alright, so my guns are all reloaded. Um here's in good shape. Got anesthesia kits. I've got the one CBM I want to try to install. I've got the pickaxe get through the doors if it's the old style or the new style and I've got the dielectric and the book of trees in case I need to waste some time and uh, spend the night I know I'm probably forgetting something Faulty CBMs? No, it's not new. Any CBM you dissect from a body now comes out filthy and faulty. So you have to uh, you have to mend it with a couple of tools and some skill. That gets rid of the faulty status. Then you have to clean it with a sponge, washing kit, washing machine, things like that. Once that gets rid of the filthy, then you have to uh, drop it into an autoclave bag and run it through an autoclave to sterilize it. And then once it's sterile, then it's ready to be installed. So, what are the chances I could get my van through right here? I can just smash all of these little bushes. I only need five spaces. So, one, two, three, four, five. If I can squeeze between these two trees without dropping them, then I'd have to pivot. One, two, three, four, five. That tree would have to come down at a minimum. I think. Ah, it's too many. Too many. <laughs> it's, this is too many. Zombie, dangerously close. Where do you come from, zombie? It's too many. I'm not going to try to chop my way through this forest. One of these days I'm going to set the auto move thing that avoids those stupid bushes. Alright, so we know where we want to go. Let's, let's see how much trouble we get into with the auto move feature. <laughs> so we'll point to the bunker. I'll stop out here. Go there. Go there. Yes. Cool. Ew. Another lone body. All 
Ah, uh, we got the new one. Cool. That's what I wanted. Activate pickaxe. Get me through this door. Any gun over here this time? Nope, no gun. You got kitchen. Crackers. Crackers in the kitchen. RM-51 assault rifle with 31 rounds. Yay! <laughs> we got a resupply off of the uh, the ammo I spent at that military outpost. I don't have the assault rifle yet, so now we've got the battle rifle, the assault rifle, and the sniper rifle for the riv deck. I'm still missing the shotgun. <laughs> no shotgun yet. Come here, map. Military operations map. Some whiskey. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright. Please have a cool CBM. Make this a really, really worthwhile trip. Nope, no CBM. Saline solution and cotton balls. Alright, that's fine. No, nah, that's just my uh, schizophrenia trait. You'll see all sorts of crazy messages over here. My my weapon will talk to me. I'll see strange people and have conversations with them. It's hallucinations due to my schizophrenia. I'm just used to ignoring it. <laughs> yeah, I've had uh, some recent problems with maps as well. Uh, i got to get back above ground in order to use the map. Let's let's do that real quick before I put myself under. This is mostly what I was hoping to is extend my map view range out that direction. Oh yeah. Alright, we got a pretty good pretty good, nice big extension out to the northwest. Kind of the direction I'm just trending towards. Oh, look at there. We got a missile silo. <laughs> Maybe that's where I'll I'll dump the uh Yeah, that's what I can do. If I fail to find a mine that has the Amagar faults, we'll go launch a missile on our own location. We'll have a nuclear blast. We'll we'll kill the Necronomicon in nuclear fire. <laughs> Assuming you can still do that at a missile silo. So there we go. We have a fallback. We have a fallback. I got uh, four and five and a half, five and a half more hours. No, four and a half more hours. Four and a half more hours. If I haven't found a uh, mine with an Amagara fault, we're gonna drive over to this nuke silo, and I'm going to uh, we're gonna set off a nuke. <clears throat> I don't care. I'll just launch the nuke and have it target my own location. We'll set the book up on the up, up above, or we'll launch it and then stand up there or something. I don't really care. <laughs> it's just a storyline RP thing. Um, all right, back in we go. <clears throat> See if we can get this dielectric installed successfully. Would be nice. Take a little bit of worry off. Okay. Um. Not really anything I can do to change the situation, so... 16% fail chance. So far, I haven't failed one yet. <laughs> so, of course, it's going to be this one. This is the one. Nope, we got it in successfully. Look at that. Man, I'm all fancy and stuff. I got dielectric. I gotta remember to use that. <laughs> now I can go, uh, I can go melee some bio-operators. Really get some uh, dodge skill built up as they keep ground and pounding me. Okay, 5.30. Tired. I think I'm just going to spend the night here. 
we'll go upstairs, we'll read our, our, our nature book for a few hours, then we'll sleep the night here, and we'll head back to our vehicle in the morning. Even if, even even though I don't have any food or water with me. <laughs> no, no, it didn't impact my mana. Only thing that impacts mana is your power. So bionic power your current bionic power is subtracted from your available mana or or your max mana, I guess. So if I were to raise this, then this would go down. I'm purposely keeping this a low number because I want to keep the magic more than I want the power for bionics. And the Technomancer has some way of manipulating this this stuff. I, I haven't played a Technomancer specifically yet, but um, or I could just leave now. There's not really much point to me st sitting around here. I guess I'd rather be with all my gear. So we got the mapping done. Still got the problem of getting my vehicle over here. To this newly mapped area. Short of me chopping a lot of trees down. What you could do probably take me a full day or two to chop a, a path through there, but I could do it. Or we go for a dangerous drive. Come down here, we hop the road out that way, and then hop the road out that way. That would probably be more entertaining. A hell of a lot more dangerous, but more entertaining. Yeah, the uh, always on metabolic, and only thing that's keeping powered is the enhanced memory bank, so the draw is really, really minimal. So, no reason not to leave them both on permanently. And the only other thing I've got to activate is the adrenaline pump for a super emergency. That'll leave enough uh, dielectric for those initial fights with a shocker or shocker brood or something like that. Anything worthwhile in stadiums? Not that I'm aware of. I still have a pretty strong desire to set up a stadium as my home base. And the one and only time I will ever put a seed in the ground and do that blasphemous activity called farming is uh, in the central central field area here and set up workshops and inventory storage and the, the various uh, shops and stuff on the outside edges. So at some point, I want to do some nice, fancy super base in a stadium. But um, nah, I've never seen much in a stadium, but I haven't visited it too many times during actual challenge gameplay. I've just kind of poked around it doing uh, testing. Yeah, I was hoping for a Thermal Dissipation CBM so I could go play with the Demon Spider Queen, but um, without Thermal Dissipation, I am not even going to bother. not going to attempt. I think I am going to head back. I can't see any real reason to stick around here. It's not like I'm in any real danger in my vehicle. Oh, yeah. Try this way again. Uh, here... Yeah, that's that's pretty convenient. All right, so back in our vehicle. Very hungry, thirsty, tired. Let's go ahead and get some water. That's my water supply. Fifty-one. We're doing fine. Uh, let's cook up that. Cook up that. Actually, is that other meat gone rotten yet? Nope. Old. Thirty-four chunk of meat old. <laughs> Gonna go rotten as soon as I try to cook it. That's the rule. Uh, sure. I don't really care if the brat salt goes bad. I like I can't get tons more. All right, brat burst. Normal weight. Good there to have some calcium and some multi. Bandaging definitely needs to get reset again. Alright, 
7 p.m. Got like two hours before the sun goes down. <coughs> <coughs> Selena Griffin says, wait up, let's talk. Sure, you imaginary person. Let's, let's, let's chat. Uh, didn't quite make the level. That's all right. All right, this vehicle's in good shape. We're dipping into my, my extra tank of gas again. Uh, energy's no problem, ammo's no problem, gear's still in good shape, we got our resupply, oh yeah, that's right, uh, unload. Assault rifle, unload the 540, and get rid of both. There we go. See if we can get some sleep. Yeah, I always forget to take Cannibal. It, it always reminds me to do a cannibal run when I do a lab escape and I hit those rooms with like eight mutated legs and arms and so on that I could be mutating off of. Northeast. Could be real. Nope, not real. <laughs> I'm going to try to go back to sleep. Uh, yeah, good old healing. God, that's so slow. It's so slow. My worst must be really small. Many of them I can eat in one one sitting without filling up my stomach. Still normal weight. There, I just ate all 30 brats in <laughs> 10 hours. So, time to make a decision. Head up this way, try to get to the top of that school and or apartment tower. Or bag that old area and make a trip down through the town here. Try to get clear and uh, hop into this mansion to check for spell books in the library. Then continue on through. Interesting little spot. Library, bookstore, school, and apartment tower. <laughs> hmm. Oh, good old hunting supply store. If you haven't seen a hunting supply store, make sure you add that to the list of places you need to visit early if you can get to one. Lots of good stuff. Hey, another one. Pretty close together, too. A lot of good stuff. Backpacks, binoculars, telescopes, bows and arrows. All sorts of good stuff. <clears throat> I think I am going to try to make the trip back the other direction. I need to see what that other town looks like. Either Necro out in the middle of the field. Necro's uh Necro's my 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 brother. My undead brother from another mother. I am an animist as well. Yeah, 
Yeah, I can't see any reason to go up into this place. Get me to the road, please. <laughs> uh oh, it's the dreaded Chihuahua monster. Security van and an ambulance and a shock. That is just what I needed. Thank you very much, Mr. Shock Zombie. Good old diagonal turns with shock, but zombies near, and I didn't have my dielectric running. <laughs> Delta juggernauts. Yeah, pretty much every town is just a bundle of fun now. That set me back probably the full amount that I healed last night, just that little incidental shock. Alright, yet another one of these silly places. This is... Ah, troll! <laughs> uh, where are you at, troll? There's my meat resupply. <laughs> hmm. How badly do I need a meat resupply? Nah, no need to ram him. I got an M2 sitting in the uh, in the vehicle. Easy kill. Just a matter of do I care if I make noise here. All I really care is that this road is clear up till about here where I park. And then I can try to make the run into that apartment tower. Yeah. Quick Butcher isn't too long, but with the noise and the wander spawns that generate, it becomes a question. Hmm. Yeah, Boyos, that sounds like uh, an issue. I had a uh, similar problem, but I was forgetting to put it into an autoclave pouch. I would stick the mended and cleaned CBM into the autoclave, sterilize it. It would say sterile, but as soon as I grabbed it out, it would then lose the sterile status. It was because I was forgetting to put it into an autoclave pouch first. So if, if you're sticking an autoclave pouch, and it says packed like you note, and... Uh, you run it through, then yeah, I'm not sure what's causing that. A suppressor on a mod deuce? <laughs> a, a vehicle mounted mod deuce? No. <laughs> no suppressor on a vehicle mounted mod deuce. I, I, I don't need to kill this thing. I, I don't want to have it kind of in the road behind me either. Let's go ahead and kill it. I haven't fired my Modus yet anyway. So first, let's uh, set targeting mode. Or no, set uh, firing mode. Full auto, semi-auto. Semi-auto is what I want. Aim turret. Hey there, troll. Oh yeah, I should have been wearing my, my earplugs. Down in three. See what shows up before I can get him quick butchered. 22 minutes to quick butcher. <laughs> the quick butcher. <laughs> uh, yeah, we got it. 92 chunks of meat out of a quick butcher. Gotta love it. Um, yeah, sure, I guess. Wander spawns being pretty generous, too. Anybody full butcher a troll yet? Isn't it like 500 meat or something like that? I 
can actually learn from that marksmanship manual still. Aren't they at like five marksmanship? Oh, rifles, that's right. Oh, cool. I'll do that next time then. Goodbye, King's King Killingworth military map. Hopefully, when I come back this way, the wander spawn doesn't have like 50 zombies squatting on the road right there where I fired that turret. And we're already up there. All right, what do I see? Nothing too exciting. I can go house to house to apartment tower, theoretically. Uh, I need to get rid of stuff. Need pickaxe. Need the anesthesia. Oh, I had a glazed tenderloin go rotten. My Xanax for plus 20 joy. Let's do that. Let's have a, ja a Xanax. Why not? <coughs> Skill, excuse me. Um, I haven't seen any. I haven't seen a single creature hallucination. That's what I've been missing. There haven't been any creature hallucinations. Apparently, no. Apparently, they removed the creature hallucinations, which was the, one of the funniest parts of the schizophrenic. All right, go with a knife. Um, acid zombie, skull zombie. Eh, let's put the knife away. Of course, the acid zombie's coming. Prozac. Ah, work our way into a building. Is this one of those? One of my favorite buildings. This is a duplex, isn't it? This is a duplex. Got it. Duplex. Hey, antiseptic. I needed some antiseptic. Oh, it's not a duplex. Cool. Locksmith kit. Hmm, I haven't seen one of those so far. Not that I need it or use it. it. Tends to break really often. Every time I find one early game, I just pretty much instantly get it broken. Oh, I saw Migos. There's Migos. Alright, so where are we? I go across the street. What do we got out here? You guys all chasing the Migo? Nope. Light tank. He goes right up there at the college kids site. Either light tank. More ammo. 80 rounds for my browning. Um 
kill these guys before my bow disappears. Really? Oh, it got me anyway. Damn it. <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> Damn invulnerable skeletons. about to disappear. So, Migo's dead. Spitter, a soldier. Ah, uh, is it all reflecting? Gonna get much use out of this the mana for this one. All right, so apartments right across the other side, yep, right back there. I'd still rather go through a building. Ooh, meat soup. Need another coconut sails. Yeah, anytime you join in, you can just use that settings command that hold your fire just typed in to uh, see exactly what build I'm running, what options I'm using for my game world, what mod packs, settings, everything. You can also use mod list and challenge to get the other details. Should keep you up to date with whatever I've got going on. All right, so we're trying to get into this apartment tower so I can get to the top, get to the roof, and then that'll that'll fill in the map north of me here. I want to see what the rest of this city looks like, see if there's any magic shops we can get to. Um, and if there's a route for me to kind of work my way around to get over to this northwest area here. Point five? Ah. Ah, point five's fine. Double zombies, half items, double evolution speed. That's pretty much my, my normal settings. I know the game too well. I know where everything's at. I know how to find everything. So it's extremely rare that I run into too many problems. Every once in a while, the game will refuse, absolutely refuse, to give me a wrench or a hacksaw. But everything else, I just know instantly where to go to get all the different items. So <clears throat> it's not that hard. I could lower it further, but there's a certain point where difficulty transitions into tedium. It's no longer harder. It's just more grindy, more tedious. So, for my personal play, those are the numbers I've kind of settled into is what I prefer. Uh, let's get the bow out again here. 